What does it mean to say that a limit equals infinity? All right, well, it doesn't mean much at this point, because infinity is not a number. And so far, we've defined what it means for a limit to equal a number l. Right? It means I can get f of x close to the limit by choosing x sufficiently close to a. But infinity is not a number, so how can I get f of x close to infinity? Well, what this statement really means is this. It means for all n bigger than 0, there's some delta bigger than 0, so that whenever x is within delta of a, and x isn't equal to a, then f of x is bigger than n. Right, so to say that the limit of f of x equals infinity as x goes to a means that I can make f of x as big as you want. And that's really different from what we've been doing before. Right? Before, I was trying to make f of x close to some number. But to be close to infinity just means I can make f of x as big as you demand. And n is the big number that you're demanding. Right? You're demanding that f of x be bigger than n. Instead of an epsilon here, I've got an n that represents how large you want f of x to be. So you demand that f of x be bigger than some n. And I can get you there. I can satisfy that requirement by choosing some small delta so that when x is within delta of a and x is not equal to a, then f of x really is bigger than the n that you demanded. So let's try to do an example of this, try to see this in action, some, some limit which is equal to, uh, to infinity. I'll erase this. So here's an example. Let's take a limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over x squared. And morally, right, when you plug in small numbers, 1 over a small number squared, well, a small number squared, a number close to 0 squared, is even closer to 0. So 1 over a number close to 0 is as big as you want. Right? And that's what it means to say that the limit of 1 over x squared equals infinity. It means I can make 1 over x squared as big as you want by making x as close as I uh, respond to 0. OK, so here's a claim. Let's see if we can uh, justify this. So we're going to start out, let n be bigger than 0. This is how big you want 1 over x squared to be. I'm going to respond by setting delta equal to something. I don't quite know what. I get to assume that x really is within delta of 0. So I'm going to assume that 0 is less than the absolute value of x minus 0 is less than delta. Something's going to happen. And I'm going to conclude that 1 over x squared is bigger than n. This is what you want. You want to make the function as big as you demand as long as I make x sufficiently close to 0. The question is, how close is sufficiently close, given the demand that you're making on how big you want 1 over x squared to be? Let's make this uh, 1 over the square root of n. Let's see what happens then. Right? So if I set delta equals 1 over the square root of n, then the absolute value of x is less than delta, which is 1 over the square root of n. And what that means is that x is between 1 over the square root of n and minus 1 over the square root of n. That's what it means to say that x is within, zero, uh, within delta of 0. Now, if x is between minus 1 over square root of n and positive 1 over the square root of n, then x squared right, is between 0. Right, and I know it's positive because x isn't 0. And it's less than 1 over n. And if x squared is now trapped between 0 and 1 over n, then what? Well, if x squared is between 0 and 1 over n, then 1 over x squared is bigger than 1 over 1 over n, which is what I want to conclude right here. So if you want 1 over x squared to be bigger than some number n, all I need is that x is within 1 over the square root of n of 0. And if x is within 1 over the square root of n of 0, that means x is between plus and minus 1 over the square root of n, and it's not 0. 
And that means that x squared is between 0 and 1 over n. But if x squared is between these two numbers, then 1 over x squared is bigger than 1 over 1 over n, which is n. And that means that I can make 1 over x squared as big as you want by making x sufficiently close to 0. So there's another problem that I will give you to uh, try this in a slightly different case. Good luck.